Good morning, my dear students. So we know that in the important dynasties of South India, in the previous class, we have studied about. So the two dynasties called here Kadambas dynasty and afterwards Ganga's dynasty in the previous session here. Okay. So in this session, in the third session, so we are going to learn about the one more South Indian dynasty that is here Chalukyas of Badami. So it's Chalukyas of Badami. Okay. Or we can call them here so Badami Chalukyas here. So, in this class, we are learning about their contributions and the rulers of this Chalukyas of Badami here. Okay. So, even they also ruled here, so when we say but after the Gangas. Okay. After the Gangas dynasty here. So, who ruled South India means nothing but the Chalukyas of Badami here. Okay. And uh, so, they ruled here nearly two centuries in uh, Karnataka here. Okay. How many centuries must think but nearly two centuries in Karnataka. See how many centuries they have ruled in Karnataka means nothing but nearly two centuries they ruled in Karnataka here. Okay. And afterwards, then who was the founder of this dynasty? Means nothing but here. So Pulakeshi first. See, Pulakeshi first was the founder of this uh, dynasty called here Chalukyas of dynasty here. See, during their period, they made the place called here Badami. Okay. See, Badami of Bagalkot. See, which one means nothing but here Badami. And also we can call it here Watapi. And also this place was also called as here Watapi citizen. Bagal coat here. See, it comes under the Bagal coat district. So, this was the capital city of the Chalukyas here. So, that's why we have called them here Chalukyas of Badami here. Okay. So, this is the capital city of Chalukyas. So, which one here? So, Badami. It is also known as here Watapi. Okay. Then here, I told already so many of the rulers also here ruled in this uh, dynasty years. but among them here so who was the famous so who was the great king of this uh, Chalukyas of Badami means I think but here that is Immadi Pulakeshi so who here Immadi Pulakeshi was the great ruler of this uh, Chalukyas of Badami dynasty or also he was the great and he was the famous ruler of this uh, dynasty. See among the rulers of Chalukyas here, see he was the great ruler of this uh, dynasty here. Okay. So let us know about Immadi Pulakeshi here. Okay. And also before that here, so which was the emblem of this uh, dynasty means nothing but that is Bor. See Bor means nothing but here we call it a uh, Varaha. Okay. See it was the royal emblem of the Chalukyas here. So, which is the royal emblem of the Chalukyas means that is boar or we can call it a Varaha. Okay. So, this is the emblem of this uh, dynasty here. See, then how many years they have ruled means nothing but nearly two centuries they have ruled in uh, Karnataka and also who was the founder of this dynasty means nothing but Pulakeshi first. Okay. And which was the capital city of this Chalukyas means nothing but see Badami. It is also known as here Watapi. It is in Bagal court here that is the capital city of uh, Chalukyas here and also who was the famous among the rulers of Chalukyas means nothing but that is see Immadi Pulakeshi here okay. So this is the highlights of uh, uh, Chalukyas here so let us come to know about the famous ruler of this dynasty called here Immadi Pulakeshi here. So during his period, what did he contribute and how did he rule and how did he expand his uh, empire? Okay, and why he was called here famous among the Chalukyas rulers here. Okay, let us come to know about that uh, details here. See, during his period and also he was also a bravest king. He was also a bravest, uh, the bravest king among the 
चालुक्यास किया सो हु वॉज द ब्रेवेस्ट किंग अमॉन्ग द चालुक्यास में सथिंग बट दैट इज ए मडी पुलोकेश ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो ही स्टार्टेड टू कंक्वेस्ट द प्लेसेस टू माई वाई मी सथिंग बट यू एक्सपैंड इज द किंगडम सो एज आई टोल्ड अर्लियर यर सो ही हैज ऑल्सो कंडक्टेड मेनी ऑफ द वॉट हियर इन्वेट्स वाई मी सथिंग बट हियर टू एक्सपैंड हिज द किंगडम एंड ऑल्सो ही कंकर्ड मेनी ऑफ द places also and uh, by that he expanded his uh, empire also here okay and also uh, during his period here the dynasties called here kadambas and afterwards gangas so they have all uh, surrendered to whom here pulikeshi here okay so it means nothing but he invaded on that kadambas and afterwards gangas dynasty see by that he uh, what means he defeated them and later they surrendered to him here okay and also he defeated rashtrakutas so when they rebelled against him here okay even the rashtrakutas also rebelled against him so during that time he defeated the rashtrakutas also here okay so by defeating them again he expanded his empire okay and also he defeated many other rulers of lata okay malwa and afterwards gurjaras okay at the north and also proceeded towards the Gujarat also here. So by defeating them here, he proceeded to which of the part means nothing but to the Gujarat here. Okay, he not only it means nothing but he not only defeated the Kadambas and afterwards Gangas and not only the Rashtrakutas here. So also he defeated the rulers of the Malwa and afterwards Gurjaras also he defeated here and later he proceeded to where means nothing but in the place called Gujarat here. Okay, and also. so kings from vengi okay and afterwards uh, kosala and also kalinga so they also surrendered to him here okay so by seeing his uh, uh, braveness here and afterwards his uh, warriorness here so they surrendered to him here who or who surrendered to him is nothing but the kings from the vengi kosala and afterwards kalinga here so they have also surrendered to him and also he defeated the pallavas of kanchi in the south part here so again it means nothing but here he invaded on not only the north here and also in the south part he invaded on the whom he means nothing but pallavas here okay so pallavas also comes under the south uh, indian dynasties here he invaded on them and also he defeated them defeated the pallavas of kanchi also here okay and also he later he made contracts later he made contracts with whom is nothing but with the cholas and also cheras and afterwards pandyas here so with them he made the contracts here okay see and uh, they are also kings of the northern india who here cheras pandyas and afterwards cholas so they are the kings of the northern india see and the banks of the river called narmada and also defeated him here okay it means nothing but here see what uh, they made the contracts with these kings of the whom here uh, what cholas cheras and pandas also and also they also surrendered to him here so later he made war with the harshavardhana and also he made it was the important uh, victory also we can call here so he made war with whom is nothing but here harshavardhana See, Harshavardhana. He was the famous king of northern India here. See, he was the famous king of northern India. Who here? Who? Harshavardhana here. Okay. See, it was also a uh, one of the famous victory of the uh, Imadi Pulakeshi. Also, we can call here. So, why we can call it? Me something, but see, he made a war with whom here? Harshavardhana. He was the famous king of uh, northern India here. Who? Arshavardhana. Okay, and also they made war on the banks of the river called here Narmada. On the banks of the river called Narmada. So both they met there, and afterwards they made a war on the banks of the river called Narmada here. And uh, Pulakeshi defeated whom? Is nothing but in the battle uh, between them here, the Pulakeshi defeated uh, Arshavardhana here. Okay. who defeated me something but arshavardhana was defeated by who me something but immadi pulakeshi here so by that victory okay 
by defeating Harshavardhana. See, he got a title called me something but Parameshwara. Okay. What titles he got me something but Parameshwara and also Dakshina Pateshwara. Dakshina Pateshwara. See, he got these titles. How many something but by this uh, victory here? See, he defeated the northern India's king called here Harshavardhana. By defeating him, he got these titles called here Parameshwara and afterwards Dakshina Pateshwara here. Okay. And also, like this, he had conquered many of the kingdoms in all the four directions here. It means nothing but he spreaded his empire in all the four directions by defeating the different rulers here. Okay, during his period. And also, he expanded his kingdom also here, called which one? The Chalukyas dynasty here. He expanded his dynasty in all the four corners of the India here. Okay. And also during his period and, uh, uh, and also in the period of the Chalukyas here, they have also contributed to the different fields here. So like uh, uh, in the previous sessions here, we have studied about the how the Kadambas, okay, Shatavanas, Gangas, they contributed to the different fields here. So in this dynasty also, the Chalukyas also contributed to the different uh, fields here. So what did they contribute to the different fields? Let's see that one. See what did they contribute to the different fields? It means nothing but see they contribute to the architecture field here. See what did they? What was their contributions towards the architecture? It means nothing but here. See. Uh, the places, same famous and the major centers of the architecture called here Badami, Haivale, Pattathakallu and uh, Mahakutas. These are all the major centers of the architectures of what here? Chalukyas here. So, which of the major centers means nothing but Badami, okay, Haivale, Pattathakallu and afterwards one more place called here Mahakutas. These are all the major centers of architecture okay and also there are cave temples in the badami and also in haivale okay we have already seen that places here those are also comes under the historical places so we are going to find what means nothing but cave temples where means nothing but in badami and afterwards haivale also here okay and uh, some of the temples called here ladkhan temple and also uh, here Darga temple it means nothing but also we can call it a Surya temple here so that is and a Meguti temple and a Huchmalli temple so these are all the famous temples of the Haivale okay so when we go to Haivale uh, historical place here so there we are going to see the different uh, temples also we are going to see in that uh, place so those are all the examples for their architecture okay and also glory of their architecture here so by seeing the temples here we can understand what was their contribution towards the architecture here whose contribution here chalukyas contribution towards the architecture here okay see so these all the temples also we are going to see in the place called here haivale okay and also haivale is called what means nothing but the cradle of what the cradle of See, the cradle of temple architecture. Okay. See, which, uh, which one is called here means nothing but Haivale. Okay. The place called Haivale is also called here for means nothing but the cradle of temple architecture. So, why we call it a cradle of temple architecture means nothing but we are going to see these many temples. As I told, which one means nothing but Ladkan temple, so Darga temple, or it is also called here Surya temple here, and Meguti temple, and also Huchmalli temple. So these are the famous temples we are going to see in a Haivale. Okay, so because of that reasons, we call it it is a cradle of temple architecture here. Okay, 
and also we are going to see uh, badami caves statues at where means nothing but uh, statues of uh, nataraja and also vishnu are also wonderful here it means nothing but those are also wonderful architectures those are also examples for the wonderful architectures which one means nothing but in the badami cave statues here so badami cave statues also statues of here nataraja and also one more is vishnu so these are the wonderful statues we are going to see in the where means nothing but in the badami caves here okay and uh, among the temples of pattadakallu okay in the pattadakallu okay beluru halebedu okay pattadakallu so there also in badami there also we are going to see different kinds of uh, what means nothing but temples but among the temples of pattadakallu here see virupaksha temple which one we here virupaksha see virupaksha temple and one more is here mallikarjuna temple see mallikarjuna temple see among the temples of pattadakallu here among the temples of pattadakallu so which are the important temples means nothing but there are two that is uh, those are we call here virupaksha temple and afterwards mallikarjuna temple or the important temples of uh, pattadakallu here okay and also here the crowning ceremony of the chalukya kings took place in the pattadakallu also here which one and also we are going to see what means nothing but the crowning ceremony of the chalukyas king here the crowning ceremony of the chalukyas king that is also took place where means nothing but in a pattadakallu here okay so that also we can see there here and also it is considered which one here uh, which one pattadakallu and afterwards these places is also considered as the world heritage site also here it is also consider, considered as world heritage site okay it means it means something but vishwa paramparika sthalagalu anta na odana karithive world heritage site here okay these place also comes under that uh, Uh, world heritage sites here okay so these are the highlights about the chalukyas of badami it means nothing but what are they contributed to the uh, field of architecture it means nothing but as i told haigole and afterwards pattadakallu badami so there we are going to see many of the temples here okay and uh, because of the more temples in the haigole it is called here what the cradle of temple architecture also here so why we call like that means i think but we are going to see number of temple in that high valley here okay among the temples in the pattadakallu the two are very important temples those are virupaksha temple and afterwards mallikarjuna temple here okay so these are the contributions they gave towards the what means i think but architecture here okay then uh, who was the famous ruler of this uh, kingdom is nothing but here emmadi pulakeshi among the rulers of the chalukyas here who was the famous means nothing but himmadi pulakeshi and who was the founder of this dynasty means nothing but pulakeshi 1 okay he was the founder of this uh, dynasty so like other dynasties they have also what uh, ruled nearly 2 centuries here okay in uh, karnataka okay they have also contributed many things to the different fields also so these are the highlights of here chalukyas of badami so okay so next uh, the one more dynasty we are going to learn now that is pallavas here the one more south indian dynasty called here pallavas see pallavas of kanchi okay or we call here kanchi pallavas here okay so they have also ruled nearly how many years means 300 years okay like other dynasties here how they ruled for number of years like pallavas also ruled here nearly 300 years okay then here then who was the founder of this dynasty means nothing but here simha vishnu see simha vishnu was the founder of this uh, dynasty called here pallavas dynasty here see who was the founder here simma vishnu was the 
founder of this uh, dynasty here okay and during their period they made the place called here kanchi puram of tamil nadu their capital here okay which one here kanchi puram the kanchi puram of tamil nadu so it was the capital city of uh, whose dynasty is nothing but pallavas dynasty so because of that reason also we can call here pallava of pallavas of kanji okay so because kanji puram of tamil nadu was the capital city of uh, pallavas here okay and also they know the languages called here which were the uh, famous languages of during this period means nothing but sanskrit okay and tamil and afterwards telugu and uh, prakrit so they were using these languages during their period it means which are the languages means nothing but sanskrit tamil telugu and uh, prakrit languages they were using here okay then uh, who was the famous uh, king so when we come to the famous uh, king of this dynasty means nothing but we are going to see the two famous kings we are going to see two famous kings first one is here mahendra varma first see mahendra varman see mahendra varman first so later we are going to see here narasimha varman first narasimha varman first so they were the so we are going to see two famous kings in this uh, Uh, pallavas dynasty here so first uh, we are going to see here mahendra varman first and afterwards narasimha varman first they were the two or here famous kings of this uh, dynasty called here pallavas dynasty here okay then which was the emblem of this uh, kingdom means nothing but here the lion they were also using here the lion and afterwards sa nandi okay So it means I think, but each of the rulers of this dynasty here, they had their separate emblems here called a uh, lion, and afterwards Nandi. They use they use here two emblems called here lion, and afterwards Nandi here. Okay, and uh, so like that. See, but among these two, uh, between these two famous rulers here, so we are going to learn about Narasimha Varman first here. Okay, then who was he? Means I think, but he was. one of the famous kings of the what here pallavas dynasty as i told earlier he was the one of the famous kings of the pallavas dynasty here who narasimha varman first okay and also he had a title called here mahamalla see see had a title called here maha malla who had a title called here means nothing but narasimha varman first had a title called maha malla here okay during his period he invaded on chalukyas okay and defeated who means nothing but immadi pulakeshi of badami okay so it means nothing but his uh, how did he do the expansion of his kingdom means nothing but so by defeating so like hadats how they defeated other rulers and afterwards expanded their territories here so like that he has also expanded his territories by or uh, kingdom by defeating other rulers okay see one of the major one is i think but here so that was he uh, invaded on chalukyas of badami and afterwards he defeated whom here the famous ruler of the chalukyas badami called here immadi pulakeshi here okay so by that incident here so by that uh, to mark that event so to mark that event which one means i think but when he defeated the immadi pulakeshi to mark that event here he assumed the title called here vatapi konda okay so after defeating the immadi pulakeshi he assumed the title called here what here vatapi konda okay so when he assumed this title means i think but after defeating the famous ruler of chalukyas of badami called here immadi pulakeshi after defeating him what he assumed here he assumed the assumed the title called here vatapi konda here okay and also he developed a, what means i think but port town called here mamallapura see mamalla 
Pura. See, it was the port town here. During his period, it was the port town. It was uh, called here Mamallapura here. See, then who developed it in nothing but Narendra. See, Narasimha Varman first. During his period, he developed a port town called here Mamallapura here. Okay, it is also called Mamallapura is also called here Mahabalipura. Mahamalapura is also called here Mahabalipura. See, the poor town, it was a poor town. He converted into a beautiful town here during his period. Okay, he developed this poor town as a beautiful town during his period. Which one? Mahamalapura. It is also called here Mahabalipura here. Okay, so during their period also, Pallavas also contributed to the different fields here. Then what did they contribute to the different fields? fields means nothing but here so they have also contributed to the fields of religion okay and afterwards architecture and also the field of sculpture so they have also different uh, what contributed different things here so first uh, let's see about the religion it means nothing but they were the followers of here hinduism the followers were the followers of hinduism here okay and also they tolerant they were tolerant towards the other faiths also here okay so during their period here they have given importance to the other religions also they were tolerant to the other faiths also and also they followed what religion is nothing but hindu religion okay they were the followers of hinduism here okay so hinduism they were the followers of hinduism then uh, in the field of architecture see their contribution towards the field of architecture here then what did they contribute to the field of architecture means nothing but here the rock tech rock temples at a mahamallapuram here so what is one first one means nothing but the rock cut temples the rock cut temples where means nothing but at a mahamallapura See, I told already Mahamalapura is also called here Mahabalipura here. Okay, the rock tech, the rock cut temples also one of the contributions of the Pallavas here. Okay, and also we are going to see Lord Shiva temple. So it is built on the beach of the Mahabalipura here. So where they have built the Lord Shiva temple means nothing but on the beach of here where Mahabalipura here. And also we are going to see the other Uh, temples called here Kailashnatha Temple in Kanchipuram. Okay, and also Vaikunta Perumal Temple that is also in Kanchipuram here. So Lord Shiva Temple we are going to see in the Mahabalipura, and also the two other more temples. Here. See Kailashnatha Temple in Kanchipuram. Another one is Vaikunta Perumal. temple also we are going to see in the kanchipuram here okay so with that uh, they have also established the temples called here uh, tondeshwaram temple and also koneshwaram temple so those are also examples for their architecture here it means nothing but they have constructed many of the temples during their period so these are all the examples for their architecture here okay and the later in the field of sculpture also they have contributed things here so what did they contributed in the field of sculpture means nothing but here we are going to see seven stone chariots how many here seven stone chariots at mahabalipuram here so that was the great contribution of the pallavas okay to the field of sculpture here so what means nothing but seven stone chariots so where we are going to see that one is nothing but at mahabalipuram here okay and also another one is gangavatara another one is here another one we call here gangavatara see what is this gangavatara means nothing but here it shows bhagiratha what it shows means nothing but bhagiratha is bringing the what means nothing but river ganga bhagiratha was bringing the river ganga to the earth to the earth after penance penance means nothing but after the uh, yoga or we call it a tapasu okay so 
after that here he was bringing the ganga river to the earth here so in the memory of that one here so they have constructed the what means nothing but ganga avatara here okay so these are the uh, what example for their great sculpture here what is one means one means nothing but seven stone chariots at a where here mahabalipuram another one is here ganga avatara so these two are the examples for their sculptures okay so like this they have also during their period they contributed to the religion architecture and also the field of sculpture here okay and uh, they have also ruled here how many years 300 years and who was the founder of pallavas dynasty means nothing but simha vishnu and uh, which was the capital city of pallavas means nothing but that is kanchipuram of Tamil Nadu, okay, and uh, they have used the languages, different languages called here Sanskrit, Tamil, Telugu, and uh, Prakrit here. And uh, we are also going to see here the famous kings of the Pallavas dynasty. Miss Hathing, but there were two. So first one is here Mahendra Varman first, and afterwards Narasimha Varman first. See Narasimha Varman first had the title called here Mahamalla here. Okay, by defeating the whom here himmadi pulakeshi he got he assumed the title called here vatapi konda also he during his period he uh, developed the fourth town called here mahamalapura or mahabalipuram as a beautiful town here and also they contributed to the different fields here so these are the highlights of here pallavas dynasty so in this class what did we study means nothing but we have studied the two dynasties called here chalukyas of badami and also pallavas of kanchi here okay so in the next class in the next session we are going to learn the remaining south indian dynasty here okay thank you